Good day everybody, this is Desert Survival, and today I want to talk to you about a uh, continuation uh, on a video what I made about some a long time ago about uh, some clothes. Uh, no, I've not found the clothes. Um, I doubt I never will. They're somewhere up north somewhere and <laughs> it'd be laughable to try and find them right now with all this vegetation. Um, so, but what I do want to talk to you about is a shoe I did find about, uh, around, around about three, four days ago, I think four days ago. Um, anyway, um, so let me just give you a backstory. This car, I used it as a waypoint because I lived over to the west. And, uh, so I passed this car almost on a daily basis. So I know this area pretty well. I'm just not used to seeing it so green. Anyway, so, because I know this area pretty well, I would have noticed this shoe a long, long time ago. Now I've got to be careful and I'm going to point out, yes, I did, f um, there are tracks, obviously, and uh because you know i didn't want to make a video and not find anything for you guys so i went ahead and found the shoe beforehand uh, before i made this video and i got got to make it i gotta be slow because i don't know what exactly i'm stepping on uh with this long grass but um you know safety first right but anyway uh the shoe should be somewhere over here. There it is. I'll just follow on my own tracks. I was about that for a brainiac moment. And uh, so it's just one shoe. It's just a child's shoe. If I put my foot next to it, you can see that it's significantly more smaller than my shoe. Admittedly, my shoes are a little bit on the big side for me. Uh, for because because I you know want lots of air and cool feet, but this is a child shoe or a small woman's shoe, and um, so my question is, how did it get there? When did it get there? What's it doing here? And what brought it here? It's been um, here for some time, as you can see. If I look in in there, there's gravel and signs that this shoe has been in here out in the desert for a very very long time um the the uh it's made by cabela's or sold by cabela's so it's an outdoorsy type shoe um and uh you know why is there only one shoe here is is my big question because this sort of ground is not the type of ground you want to step on these rocks are got sharp edges to them you know especially stuff like this which is quartz um you know here's another rock you know you just don't want to go around here in bare feet it just doesn't make any sense the only thing i can think of that this is a uh someone was carrying someone on the on their back like a you know like a dad would and you know and their shoe dropped off i hope it is that and i hope they got out because we i'm about 10 minutes well actually uh well 10 minutes from my camp which is 10 minutes into the desert so that's 20 minutes and you know if you look around there's just nothing i mean why would anyone go walking around here you know <sighs> maybe they were looking at that car maybe they saw that calf in the distance from a ridge or somewhere and they and they and they decided to go and be a bit nosy and have a look at it but um the thing is um i did find those clothes neatly folded clothes around about a mile from my position and where they are i got no idea it could be over here over here over here all i know is north of my position right now and uh, and so you know this adds to the mystery of what exactly is going on or i don't know but you know uh, if you 
Anyway, I don't want to go on and on and on spelling out the bloody obvious. Um, so, you know, to, to cap it all, place in the middle of nowhere, except for a landmark I used to use a lot. And uh and a and a shoe which got there somehow at some point i do not know anyway thank you for watching and uh if you've got any ideas whatsoever let me know because i'm out of ideas uh to have a recap i did find some close to the north and now i've found a one shoe over to a waypoint i used to use quite often and I know that area very well. Anyway, bye.